Shaw has dropped four lakes in two months. I'm the only person who has found a connection between them. Shaw's courier is here, operating out of Berlin. Berlin Station has echoes of Jean Le Carré, but it's very much rooted in here and now. It just puts it right in the forefront of modern espionage. There's nothing retro about it. What's interesting to me is the emotional arcs of these people and what the job does to them. The show starts with Daniel Miller, a newcomer to the station. So what's the fallout since the Shaw leak? Until everything settles, everybody has to be at their most charming. Do my best. There is a whistleblower at large called Thomas Shaw, and Daniel has been brought to Berlin Station to figure out what's going on and who's doing it. Thomas Shaw is sort of our Snowden character. No one knows who he is, but he's starting to gain a following. Whoever Thomas Shaw is, he sure has it in for Berlin Station. Though the show focuses on Daniel, it is by and large an ensemble piece. We work on cases and we do have exciting things happen, but I liked it because it wasn't just about being a CIA agent. It was about being a person in this world. It's secrets upon secrets upon secrets. The writers have done a really fantastic job in keeping us on our toes. There is a lot of intrigue, a sexual intrigue, action, and the fact that we get to shoot here and capture all of that is exciting. Berlin has such an extraordinary history and it does become almost the lead character. You need to be careful, Daniel. What? Nothing. Everything. In this world, you can trust these people with certain things, but with your life, I wouldn't bet on it. I'm just looking out for an old friend. <laughs> I got you.